What's up, Serial Heads? Today we're going to talk about Captain Crunch. So full disclosure, Captain Crunch is my favorite cereal of all time. I love it so much I even had these kicks custom made. Captain Crunch was introduced in 1963. Quaker Oats wanted a breakfast cereal that stayed crunchy, and they wanted a character or mascot who would give their competitors at Kellogg's and General Mills a run for their money. And thus, Captain Crunch was born. Now, some people suggest the inspiration for the character came from another cereal and its mascot years earlier. Captain Jolly was the mascot for Post's Cornfetti cereal. He was a pirate captain who sailed the seas and made claims that his cereal didn't go mushy even when you drowned it in milk. A slogan which sounds awfully familiar to Captain Crunch is, stays crunchy even in milk. But whether or not Captain Jolly was the inspiration for Captain Crunch will forever remain a debate. Now to bring Captain Crunch to life, Quaker went to animator Jay Ward, responsible for the classic Rocky and Bullwinkle cartoons. They banged out several ads using some well-known voice actors from that time. So uh, when Captain Crunch talks, it's like this, and there's a lot of illusions. That was Dawes Butler, who you might recognize as doing the voices of Yogi Bear, Quick Draw McGraw, Huckleberry Hound, and many others. Another voice actor, June Ferre, was responsible for giving the serial its name. Originally, it was supposed to be Captain Crunch, but in an early recording session, she flubbed the line to Captain, and they liked it so much that it stuck. In the early campaigns, Captain Crunch would sail on his ship, the SS Guppy, with his crew consisting of Alfie, Brunhilde, Dave, Carlisle, and Sea Dog. They'd get into adventures and constantly be tested by the villain Jean Le Foot. You make the fool of me? I will! You'll put up your patty paws! That's what you'll do, Jean Le Foot! Yeah! Jean, the captain's nemesis, was determined to steal the world supply of Captain Crunch. He always failed, but later he would get his own cereal, Cinnamon Crunch, one of the many varieties of Captain Crunch over the years. But we'll save those for another video. So how did this amazingly delicious cereal come to be? Well, it's all credited to a flavorist and food scientist named Pamela Lowe. She developed the flavor from an old recipe of her grandmother's, a combination of butter and brown sugar that they would serve over rice. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. Let's see, what else? Oh, the captain's full name is Horatio Magellan Crunch. The number of stripes on his uniform indicates that he may have been a commander and not really a captain, but who cares? So over the years, the animation style has changed, and the voice is even different since Dawes Butler died in 1988. But the flavor has remained the same. Captain Crunch has been one of the most popular sweetened cereals for over 50 years now. And even though it may leave the roof of your mouth shredded, there's still nothing better than sitting down with the captain and enjoying a bowl of his crunchy concoction, which is what I'm going to do right now. So thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. It's got to be the shoes. Cereal time, cereal time.